Hello YouTube. This video solves a problem with a Denon receiver with audio problems. Remember to like the video and subscribe to my channel to receive automatic notifications of upcoming videos. Hope you like it. Here we have a Denon receiver that has uh, an H slash P input on. Message showing up and the volume drops out and it goes on and off. Um, Denon designed their receiver to auto sense when the headphones get plugged in so that the sound would drop out and the sound would go to the headphones only. As you may have guessed, H slash P stands for headphones. So without any headphones in, the receiver thinks that headphones have been plugged in. So here is the headphone jack right in front and the problem is that some dust can get in here. It's not plugged, it doesn't have a rubber plug to uh, keep dust out. And so dust gets in and um, goes over the contacts that are in the headphone jack hole and makes a slight arc to uh, trick the receiver into thinking that the headphones are uh, plugged in. And so this problem arises. So we have to fix uh, the problem, and there are a couple of ways we can do that. So there are three ways that I can think of that can fix the problem. One I don't recommend very much, but I'm going to tell you about it. A Q-tip. You can push a Q-tip in to clean it, but you have to be careful not to push it in too far, because we do not know what's going on there electronically. So here's what it looks like, but you have to be very careful. I wouldn't stick it in much further than that. By doing that, you're wiping the contacts clean, and it should solve the problem. However, there's a much better way. If you just get a standard headphone jack, this is just an adapter with no cord, but this standard headphone jack will fix the problem if you just push it in once and pull it back out. Here it goes. It's in. It's out. It doesn't matter if the headphones are still attached. If it's a regular headphone jack, it doesn't matter if the car is attached or not. What you're doing is pushing it through, wiping the dust off the contacts that are inside the jack itself. That's it. It's clean. Your problem should be fixed. The third one is what I did, and it solved my problem, and here it is. Just blow into the jack. Here it goes. That fixed the problem for me for months. I didn't have a problem for about nine months. It came back, I did the exact same thing again, and it went away until I tried this, and it was a, a little bit better. That's it. I hope it uh, helped, and I uh, hope uh, you fixed your problem and didn't throw away your receiver like I was thinking about doing. Okay. Thank you for watching. Just a reminder, like this video if it was helpful. Leave comments below if uh, you have any feedback. And subscribe to my channel to receive automatic notifications of upcoming videos. Thank you.